Imagine a tool that gives you alerts for a specific keyword, websites, brands on your email ID, which helps you in search engine optimization, content creation, finding content ideas, link building, competitor analysis, and much more. And that too without spending a rupee. Yes, tools like this exist. And you guessed it right, it's Google Alerts. Many marketers use this tool for various marketing purposes. However, many don't use Google Alerts to their fullest. And some don't use them at all. If you are the one who wants to use Google Alerts for business, this video is for you. This is Sumit from Paper Video. In this video, you'll know what Google Alerts is, how it works and how you can use them for various marketing purposes for your businesses like on-page SEO, link building, competitor analysis, etc. So watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon for notifications. First, let's get a quick understanding of what Google Alerts is. Google Alerts is a free service provided by Google which sends an email for a specific keyword. So basically, Google Alerts is like a newsletter service. Just a difference is that a blog newsletter gives you notifications of new offers or blogs posted by that website. But on the other side, Google Alerts provide links to web pages where a specific keyword or key phrase is mentioned. For example, if I add SEO in Google Alerts, I'll get an email where I'll receive the latest web page links with SEO mentioned in it. Now let's see how to set up Google Alert. To set Google Alert, you just have to go to google.co.in slash alerts. Here, you'll find a search bar at the top. Just add a term here. When you add a term, you'll see a drop-down link below the search bar. Click it. Once you click it, you'll see few options, which are how often. Here, you have to choose how often you want a Google alert on your email. You have the option to choose once a week, once a day, and as it happens. We'll recommend you once a day. The next option is source. Here, you can choose the source of a web page like a blog, video, news, etc. The next option you have is language where you can choose the language of the web page for alerts. Then the next is region, where you can choose a country. Then another option is how many, where you can choose to get alerts for the best results or all results for that term. And the last option is deliver to, where you can choose where to deliver the alerts on your email ID or RSS feed. Once you choose your options, you have to click create alert you'll get the alerts right away. Now that you understand Google Alerts, let's see how you can use Google Alerts for marketing. There are many applications of Google Alerts, one of which is Get Content Ideas. The most important thing in on-page SEO is creating content that will rank on a website. And for that, you need content ideas, which you can get with the help of Google Alerts. For this, what you can do is set alerts for keywords your website targets. For example, if your business is related to digital marketing and you want to add content to your website, what you can do here is create alerts on keywords like digital marketing, SEO, SEM, SMM, etc. After you set an alert, you'll receive the latest blogs, news, mentioning these keywords right to your email. These can help you know what are the blogs and news related to keywords eventually giving great and trending content ideas. The next is link building. Link building is a process of gaining backlinks from another website which eventually helps you rank on Google. There are many ways you can use Google alerts in your link building process. The first method is finding unlinked brand mentions. Unlinked mentions are the ones where a specific blog has mentioned your brand's name without linking to your website. If you found a blog that mentions your brand name, you can contact them and ask them to link your website. And to find out these unlinked mentions, you can use Google Alerts. What you have to do here is create alerts on your brand's name and you'll receive web pages that mention your brand's name. 
then you can find the contact details and ask them to link. Another way you can use Google Alerts for link building is finding guest posting opportunity. Guest posting is a way to write blogs on other websites and add links to your website in that blog. Finding websites that allow guest posting could be difficult. However, with the help of Google Alerts, it's very easy. You can just create alerts for the terms like write for us, guest posting and guest post. But wait, it's also important to get links from relevant websites. So for that, we have to use search operators. Or you can use search operators like this topic plus write for us and you can use the website page that has guest posting instructions. For example, if your business is related to Bitcoin, you can add Bitcoin plus guest post and create alerts giving you websites about Bitcoins allowing guest posting. The next way of using Google Alerts is analyzing your competitors. Competitor analysis is very important when it comes to business. You need to know about what your competitor is doing and Google Alert can help you with that. And you probably guessed what you have to do here. Here, you just have to create alerts of your competitor's brand name. With the help of this, you can see where they are getting mentioned. If they are getting mentioned on a blog, it could be a guest post done by them, where you can approach them too. If they are mentioned in news praising them, you can see what good things they are doing. And if they mention where they are getting criticized, you can see what the issue is. Both these things will help you analyze your competitors. You can also keep a check on what they are posting on a blog. For that, you have to use search operators, site, blog page or website. Then comes social media marketing. Social media is one of the most important things of online marketing. And as a brand, you want your brand to be visible on social media. You want to interact with the one who's talking about your brand's niche. And for that, you can use Google Alerts. What you can do here is add a target keyword and add social media site name. For example, if you want to know who is tweeting about SEO on Twitter, which can create an alert of SEO site is to twitter.com and you'll get alerts when someone mentions SEO. You can follow these accounts, interact with them and their followers, etc. Another thing you can do here is find theft of your digital product. It is very useful if you are selling digital products. There are always chances that someone selling your digital product for free. But you can catch them with the help of Google Alerts by creating alerts of your product like product name plus download torrent. It will help you to take action quickly. So these are the benefits of Google Alerts which we are able to find. If there is any other benefit you know, don't hesitate to comment below. If you want to know about other free tools available, you can check out our blog. The link is in the description below. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.